Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So we have here Hatsune Miko uh, build and strategy guide for you guys. So we'll start off with uh, taking a look at her skills. So with her basic attacks, so high speed rhythm, attacks one random enemy that is in the first in their line. Okay, so boost the damage from basic attack by 50% levels 2 and 3. So range is going to be 9 slots for this one. And for her ultimate, you have here stage of freedom. So initial energy is at 10. Enter a dancing state and attack 3 random enemies every second for 6 seconds. Dealing 30% increased damage to to enemy sur summoned units. So bigger damage to summoned units. Energy re regeneration rate is at 6 per second. Uh, uh, upgrade effects, you have level 2 for every one ally figurine or summoned unit. Increase the damage dealt from dancing by 5% and at level 3 has a 60% chance to trigger the dance attack one time whenever an allied summon unit is created. So again, multiple attacks coming from Hatsune Miko uh, with their syner synergy for summoned units. And her passive is uh, Friendship Etude. Um, leave the battlefield and enter cheering state at the start of each battle. During this state, Patsuni Miko has a 30% chance to trigger a combo attack whenever an allied figurine performs a basic attack. So it adds another boost to her attacks. Upgrade effect is at level 2. Patsuni Miko has a 10% chance to trigger a combo attack whenever an allied summoned unit performs a basic attack. And at number 3, while leaving the battlefield, um, summon a hologram on the spot. Okay, so her special PS while under the cheering state, Hatsune Miko cannot be attacked by enemies. She is actually on, on the side of the grid and will not take any grids on the battlefield but can be affected by allied group buffs. After all the, the other teammates are defeated in battle, you will exit the battle immediately and be defeated. So she is basically the last to be killed in any um, matchup that you have. And last is going to be her special. So loudspeakers boost damage by 15% and there is no uh, surrounding enemies. Upgrade effect level 2 boost attack by 5% and crit chance by 10. And at 3 boost damage by 25% when there is no surrounding enemy. So th that those are the summary of her skills. Um, as far as her weakness and strength is concerned, so attack most especially because she is um uh, her her strength is one is her attack because again she's a militarist and she needs to deal a lot of damage through range and it's good that she also has defense as one of her strength as for her weakness um health can be addressed a bit but her build is not really to give her health um, I don't think that this will really um, matter in terms of the mechanic because she will be taken out last anyway uh, when you guys are defeated. So in terms of the gear, let's take a look at the gear that uh, I have for her. So what I did was put out attack, attack set, critical set. And um, I think the other recommendation for her gear is will set, which is critical damage. But I went with attack and critical set so that we could increase her crit rate and also increase her attack. So that is what I did. That is her recommended gear, guys, or parts. And also, if you want to uh, take a look at my badge. So it's uh, Eternal Melody Badge. It's a, it's a special badge especially for Atsune Miko you can get to this through the event but you'll have to you'll have to spend currency for this one I'll tell you where it is later so Atsune Miko exclusive when units are summoned on your side restore for energy while unleashing her ultimate all summoned units on your side will have 50% increased attack speed so Basically, this is really suited for her playstyle and for what she brings to the battlefield. So it's here in the concert tour. I got it here. So you, you will have to spend um, the fully wish so that you could go this far and get the, um, the, the, the badge that I am recommending. But if you don't have or if you don't want to get this badge, let's go back to Atsune Miko and... Um, see what other recommended badges 
um, she needs. So the other the, the the other recommended badge is the Eternal Phantom badge, so restores health equal to one eighty eight percent attack and boosts attack speed by ten percent for twenty eight seconds after unleashing the ultimate. The other recommendation for her is going to be Eternal Starlight Badge, which is restores 10 energy and boost damage by 20% over 10 seconds when an ally figure is defeated, uh, stacking up to three times. So these are the other recommended badges that you have. But I'm opting again with the one that is exclusive to her because I wanted to play her more with summon um summon units or summon summons or summon team that is why i'm using this one okay as far as team component is concerned most of um most of the ones that you'll be bringing with her in terms of team comp will be mostly from let's red obviously and um summons summoned units or summon figurines like um harriet you also have suzumi and um the ones that are going to be important to you as well is going to be sakura and aoi and megan so those are um the most you know the most um uh close to her in terms of team comp and what on which is she is going to be excelling at one of the additional um, figures that you might want to consider is also Yuna but again if you are heavy on the buffs um, in terms of summons you may want to get in Aoi if you're if you want to go with healing then you go with Sakura okay so as for content is concerned um, obviously uh, this is going to be your lineup moving forward for let's read in terms of the big three so um this is my suggested lineup for you guys um i already was able to carry her um hatsune with this team with two successful tries this is actually the the most um the the stage where i cannot clear anymore i need to level up um some of my figures ex uh, especially for Suzumi and also for Harriet and also actually for um, for Sakura. Um, in this stage, you will definitely need Sakura because you need healing for her and you will need healing definitely to survive this boss. This boss has a huge uh, barrage of damage. So as you can see there, um, so far, I'm, I'm kind of doing good. Um, just have to finish this out. But definitely, I'm not sure I'm... Not, I'm as you can see there, the ultimate of the boss is too much that it can clearly clear most of your lineup. And um, as you can see, uh, I really need to level up some of my figures that I have. Um, I have I have no problem with uh, with Megan or with Hatsune, but the others I think I should level up. So again, this lineup is not really tuned for this level, but again this lineup works already um, in terms of if you want to bring a summon team the lower stages of this lineup is very doable so i'm just gonna finish this one hopefully i'm, I'm not sure if i could go down to zero for this one so as long as megan is holding up i don't think i'll have a problem but again there you go i'm all defeated so let's go to Let's go to uh, a match for PvP. Okay, so for your Brawl, I already tried a lineup with Hatsune Miko for Brawl. And I think she could she could handle herself in Brawl with just a little splash of, uh, what do you call this, of um, summon lineup. So as you can see, um, okay, so let's, gonna, let's do a free battle. Okay, so this is the lineup that I was playing at um, before I did this video. And let's try this again and see if you're going to be successful with this one. I like this lineup because you have two militarists at the back. And the firepower for this one, tremendous guys. Um, uh, usually would put my enemies to shreds. Um, especially for the back line, especially if you have an enemy Zerola on the other side as well. As you can see there, th shreds for everyone. So I'm still, I still have um, most of my team intact. And there you go. 
So clearly she is actually good for PvP as well. Um, just have to make a semi summon lineup for her. Okay, so my final thoughts for Atsuni Miko. All all the while she is she is kinda OP, but again, she will need to have she is difficult to pull off, especially if your other teammates are not that of a high level or um have a few stars with her for mine i already have her at five star peach and the rest of most of my summon team are at three star or at four star so definitely you need to work on the whole team not just hatsune miko if you want to bring in a summon team so she's good but her limitations will really depend on the teammates that she has so that those are my thoughts for her and hopefully guys um i'd like to hear from you um, please put your comments down below and um, hope you have summoned her and hope you enjoy um, bringing her in your team. So thank you very much, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.